Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Nashville, Tennessee, getting ready to take you guys along with us to Adventure Science Center. Adventure Science Center. Starting off, we're gonna take a look at the Solar System Survey. So this is pretty cool. This represents the rotations of the Earth and over here you have the 365.24 day revolution of the Earth around the Sun. On the frequency look at that these little popcorn balls pop up I'm trying to hit this one they look like little beans from a bean bag look at that so frequency 120 it's really getting these beans to pop right here and it wouldn't be nashville if they didn't have a guitar on their playground that's really neat So by hitting these various buttons, it adds the harmony, rhythm, and melody to a song. Well, we were having fun with this. There it goes back on. A little thunderstorm in the area, a little lightning struck, and flipped off the electricity. Hopefully this isn't running on a generator, and it'll come back up. And we'll be running any second from now. Here's a... Look at one of those Nashville thunderstorms we get here quite frequently. This time of the year it storms just about every other day it seems. Pretty typical. Oh wow, there's also a huge ropes course here. Didn't even notice that until I was looking at the storm. And that is included with the cost of admission. So the lightning, which took out the electricity, took out a lot of things. There's a no signal here. And then directly behind us, this screen's completely off. So there's a few things we won't be able to show due to the storm striking lightning so close. This is cool. Infinium. This is called the Infinium Room. This is really neat. All above us here are mirrors. The floor is a mirror. The side's a mirror. So now the Infinium Room is lighting up with various colors. We were told that the show is going to occur here in just a moment. And you can actually feel vibrations yeah. on your feet. Don't know what happened, but the lights just went out. Not due to a storm, by the way. We thought this was part of the show, but I think that's just a Windows emblem <laughs> with a little loading screen.
This is really cool. So you turn the fingers and try to grasp a hold of that ball, and each lever is a different finger. So you almost have to have four different people working together at the same time to. I'll help you, boys. Four people. At the Jennifer and I are joining in, joining in, in the efforts here. Okay. Opening the hand. All right, we got to work together. Let's ready. Close it. It's harder than it looks. That was the Adventure Science Center. Gentry, what did you think about the Adventure Science Center? I thought it was a great place, and Henry and me thought there was a slide, but not a slide. It looked like a slide, but people just climbed up it with ladder pieces. So. What was your favorite thing to do here? The show. The show, the planetarium. We couldn't film the planetarium. They said, do not use your cell phones, like what, probably five times and people were getting caught with cell phones, so certainly our big camera would not work as well. Uh, Henry, what do you think about the Adventure Science Center? It was good. I liked the movie and the planets, but not the hot moon. It was just like hot, and you definitely come here and get on the slide. Like there's like five slides. Like you can even get on it. Like he said, don't get on it. Okay, so there is a playground here. We didn't feel much of the playground. There's a bunch of other kids running around, but uh, the planetarium is an additional $10. I'll we'll go ahead and tell you the cost. It's $22 to get in for adults, 13 and above. Uh, kids 13 and above and adults, $22. Kids, it is $18. If you are a first responder, uh, military, or work for the government, which one of us does work for the government, um, actually, we both kind of work for the government, technically. Um, you get it for free. So we thought that was pretty cool, and they just shave off the $22 automatically. Jennifer, what did you think about the Adventure Science Center? I thought it was really neat. Um, I loved the planetarium as well. That was my top favorite. I also liked the Infinium. Is that what it yeah, was called? Yeah, the Infinium room. That was really neat. It made you feel like you were moving, even though you weren't moving at all. You were stationary, but it kind of made you feel like you are moving. Similar to the tunnel that you go into at... Is it Wonderworks? Yeah, Wonderworks, yeah, Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah, at those, it's kind of similar to that, but not as dizzy feeling, if that makes sense. But that was really, really cool, too. Yeah, and I agree. The planetarium show is really cool. It's an additional $10 per person, regardless of age. And just because you're looking up at the ceiling and it's a completely 365 degree experience and just the way that the cameras are panning around it really felt like you were there and uh, every now and then I'd look down just to kind of regain my my bearings <laughs> and uh, like I said because you really felt like you're moving with the spaceships and and you're leaning, it, back. And you're leaning that was back. Really cool. The chairs were very comfortable. Yes. As soon as you sit down, you're already leaning back, and you have to convince yourself to not take a nap because it's very, very comfortable. And I learned so much from that too. I did, had no idea that the, the uh, Saturn rings were just all ice. I thought it was a combination of like meteors and other things, other space debris. But uh, apparently, it's all ice, and apparently, it's also moving at a speed of fifty thousand miles an hour, which is something I had no idea about. Um, Again, I think that the Infinium Room was my favorite thing aside from the planetarium. Um, all in all, this is a pretty cool place. We've never been here before. I know that they do switch it up, so what you saw in today's video may not be the same thing that you experience when you come here. Some of the things were a little outdated, but I would imagine that a lot of students come here on field trips as well and kind of wear out some of the, the fabric and other things. But other than that, it was a great experience. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Nashville, Tennessee at the Adventure Science Center. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Everyday.